Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we got some fun stuff going on. Josh is out, thank God. And anyway, what we got going on in the shop right now is a whole slew of stuff. The ZR1 is making some good progress. That is the Texas Speed heads that we have on here, as well as it's cammed. It's got an IW pulley on it now. It's looking pretty good. That'll be in a separate video since Josh is out. We're not going to have a lot of footage on this finalizing up. I'm going to only have a couple dyno pulls. We're going to use this burnt orange Camaro as our featured car in this video, but I'm going to walk around the shop first and show you guys what we're up to. I know a lot of you guys are fans of the Pontiac GTO. We have one here with, oh, what's that? An ice tank? Oh boy. Well, if it's got an ice tank, that must mean it's got a blower. A roots blower, I guess? And I know that with that roots blower, we got some good, well, it doesn't have any blower right now but it looks like blower plates blower spacers from force inductions that's great that means that it's probably a tvs because it's a downward discharge blower with the force induction inner chiller look for this in one of the upcoming videos as well as we get through this and complete the job and well see what she all makes here let's go on over and see what these other morons are doing look at them they're just like laughing johnny's just laughing oh, let's go scare johnny so if we take a little walk on over here we got mike doing mike stuff struggling to put an oil tank in <laughs> this is getting a built engine it is a sleeve block from lme we're gonna see if we can make some serious power with it it was making pretty good power before and uh the main said no so these mains should say yes. Basically, the thrust bearing in a uh, factory block here is half a thrust bearing, so you can kind of get a little bit of wobble, which the higher horsepower applications will see more often than not. And uh, when you get the blocks machine, they tend to go to a full thrust bearing, and that's what we're looking for, and that should basically take us the rest of the way. And there's a little added layer protection is fully forged like everything, so that's pretty cool. It's going to be a 427. Well, it is a 427 now, and I'm really looking forward to see what the extra cubes as well as uh well the whole setup can do <laughs> see you later i thought this was saying zoltaire i thought it was like some wow. fucking anime thing that, but it's thought. you thought it was an movie when he goes to the, you know, movie big? yeah you you, th you really okay i did i every time i was like passed by i was like oh zoltaire okay i guess that's the name of the car it's <laughs> zoltaire like that's whatever you know but z you later i get it now see in pennsylvania you can't do the two space thing you can only have one space so like z you later it would be like zooliter so that one's definitely z you later what are we doing to this johnny uh it's getting a quarter blower from com uh mighty mouse catch can headers uh Nick Williams uh, throttle body, got okay. the blower up, and right now I'm getting the, all the exhaust stuff out. Okay, shut up and get back to work. Okay. So you're a lot meaner than Josh, you're, you're more useful, so. <laughs> Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're home sick today, so I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Ethan, what are you finishing up? Uh, we're doing an eight rib conversion on this Pro Charge F body. We did um, deep... more ribs, more fun. Yep. We had uh, 1050 injectors, Mighty Mouse Cats can. There's got a couple of goodies on it now. Cool. So in the last couple of videos, I know that a lot of you guys were asking, how is the expansion coming? Well, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to take a little walk on over. The truth is that the expansion has not really improved very much because we've been so damn busy that we haven't been able to dedicate anybody to uh, making the magic happen. Uh, we have a couple things that we need to do, but really we're just kind of being used as storage right now, keeping your cars inside. You can see that starting off here, we got the Tree L1. I'm going to turn on some lights here. We, got, uh, we did LED lights up top, but uh, we got the Tree L1 hanging out, the uh, Wagon, the Twin Turbo. These are my cars. The Twin Turbo, looking fun as always. We're going to throw on a set of LT4 heads because the LT1 heads are not cutting it. They've been through a little bit of an issue when the engine blew up the first time, and we're just noticing that issue now now that they were leaking we thought it was a little bit of a uh, hose that was leaking replaced the hose thought maybe it's the angle that's just like side loading it and causing it to leak and finally we were able to identify that the head has a small leak in it and uh, we're just going to replace those heads and rock on lucky for us the g1 pro intake manifold that we bought which is the water cooled intake manifold actually is designed to work with both the lt1 and lt4 heads so it's a really simple swap for us as far as the wagon it has been down since november sometime the truth is that we were doing a test for Kong. Well, not for Kong, but using the Kong Porta LT. Sorry, LT. I'm so on the LT stuff these days. But we were doing a Kong Performance uh, Porta LSA blower versus the Magnuson 2300, and we were setting things at 15 pounds boost, uh, so lower than I was actually running. Hit the rev limiter too hard, pretty high up a couple times on this setup, and uh, it 
actually spun a bearing. So it's been down for a while and we've had a little bit of trouble getting the machine shop to uh, get the engine straight because we wanted to do an upgrade if we were taking this engine out. We wanted to go to a 416 and we really just didn't get there yet. And it's been kind of in limbo for a very long time. I'm kind of sad about that, but we have other projects like the Trio 1 that, I mean, the Trio One's my favorite car. So that one's the one that like has to run. The Trio 1 is in good condition here. It is kicking ass. I took it out yesterday for coffee. People were kind of pissed is what it is. And then we have the wife's red lemon. That is still here. If you guys were curious, it did blow up the turbo at the track that last time that it was there. And uh, we got a new turbo. It is sitting here. Well, Precision did not make that turbo anymore. So we got a, um, a VS racing turbo that we're gonna have to modify to fit properly, but really looking forward to getting that on and getting this bitch down the, the track again. And sold because, I mean, since the wife has that Camaro now, we really don't care too much about, you know, a turbo C5. This car has definitely lived up to its name. We call it the Red Lemon because when it came in here it had all sorts of problems and we've been sorting through problems over and over and hopefully soon enough it will be through all those problems. I think the turbo is the last thing that needs to happen and it should be a uh, pretty good running car. But she has not run for a little while now so that kind of sucks. And then we have a 2006 GTO, a Nova in here, V3 that we're doing a blower swap. I'm not going to tell you what blower swap is going on but it's going to be pretty cool. And then we also have the Freedom Rocket, which we have finally identified, you know, one of the worst issues on the car for uh, consistency, and that was the battery has failed. If you notice, the expansion does have another dyno that has not been run in a very long time. We uh, got this from another shop. It's basically ready to go. We need to get some of the electronics for it, and we also need to fit out some of the rest of the shop here, get it ready. Ooh, a knife. We'll be back on it, you know, as soon as we get time. It just sucks right now because we don't have the time to finish everything. Right now, we're in the season where we're really, 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 really busy. And we really do want to get the, the expansion completed so we can actually have a dino day and bring everybody here and show everybody the shop and what we do. You know, basically shoot the shit with everybody. But until this is ready, we can't do that. And unfortunately, we just don't have time. Uh, the truth is that, you know, time is scarce these days. Uh, it might go into winter a little bit until we actually do have time. So that's going to suck. But it is what it is. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little update on what's going on with the shop and my cars and all that stuff. And the next thing we're gonna, bleh. and the next thing we're gonna feature the burnt orange GT, fuck. And the next thing we're gonna feature, and the next thing we're going to feature that burnt orange Camaro that was just on the dyno. I just loaded a tune onto it. Uh, we're gonna finish that up now. And this is gonna be the whole process from start to finish on what we did. Basically we installed the cam and cutouts, but enjoy. So what are you doing with this car? Cam cutouts. Oh, cutouts. Water pumps off, all sorts of goodies. Taking that off right now. <laughs> that last little bit. Nice new Texas Speed Cam with our logo on it. Well, that was easy. So where are you at with this? Cam's in, time, new oil pumps on, put the pull the pan back up, and then I'll put the timing cover back on, and then I'll do the spring. And that'll be it. We don't do the cutouts here, so I just gotta mark them where they can be welded, and then we'll get a bad wire off. Sweet. Ah, look at that.
474. 474, 437 that time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one degree out of that and we're gonna open the cutout. You wanna see the cutouts? They're right below. I'm Andrew. Hey, good to meet you. There we are. Look at that. Yeah. It's on video. It's official. What do you think of the sound? Oh, wow. it sounds so good. good. I'm glad you like it because there's no going back now. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed everything that we did today. The whole update on the shop and also uh, the featured car, that burnt orange Camaro. Subscribe for more fun stuff and to see how things are coming along with uh, everything. I think this is going to be the format that we use where we do a quick walkthrough of the, uh, the shop and then, you know, go right into our featured car. I think that's going to make sense. If you guys think that makes sense, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the flip side. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Thank you.